today we are going to be learning about chooks and how to cure them when they are egg bound. Listen in if you want to learn more about what the symptoms are, how to fix it and how to prevent it in the first place. Hello chooks! Here we have our chooks. This is Adelaide, Jeff, Jet and Marshmallow. We're going to meet. Now this them. is Jeff and Marshmallow having a dust bath. Uh, Jeff and Marshmallow are both girls, but we like to call them um, funny names. Marshmallow is white, and she's named, as you see, after a marshmallow. She is a Sussex as well, and has had no problems. Jeff is a Sussex, just like the other ones. He is the boss of the group, but just recently he had all the feathers on the back of his. Um, on the back of his body pepped off due to the pecking order. Adelaide and Jet both want to lay today so they're going to go into the chook house. Today I'm going to be showing you about how to care, to care for these chooks and the first thing I'm going to be showing you is how to de deal with a chook who is egg bound. Egg bound chooks are chooks that are having, trying to lay their eggs because of a particular reason. I'll be showing you the the reasons for egg bound, how you can stop it happening and how you can fix a chook that is already egg bound. And also some of the symptoms of egg bound. The first symptom is that your chooks aren't eating. They seem to be standing around all day not doing anything. Now another uh, symptom is that when their top eyelid begins to close and it seems to droop out close and then open again. The chook will find it hard to lay eggs because there's not enough calcium. Another symptom is that the chooks are not laying. When they want to lay and they're standing near the egg laying wherever you, they, the chooks love to lay. But they're not sitting down, they're just standing up. When a chook is egg bound, you want to know how to stop it. Chooks need to have the calcium and magnesium that they need to push out the egg and to keep the eggshell strong. To give your chooks calcium, you can mix in some Greek yogurt with their scraps and also some grain, like we have done here. The egg bound. Once they're egg bound, they might only live for 48 hours, so you want to act immediately. You can start off by putting them in, in a safe, warm place, like what we did with Adelaide. We put Adelaide safely in this room and filled up a hot bath. We put the warm water in here, just so that it would reach to her butt. And we put some magnesium and salt, some magnesium esperm salts. And that will help her muscles in her egg, like where she lays her egg, to be stronger and being able to push the egg out. Going so that it would keep her warm at all times. Since she wasn't eating or drinking, we had to put a little bowl of bread down on the bottom. And what I'd have to do is put the bowl right up to her face and she'd peck out a few seeds. To give her water, you get a syringe and get some water in it. Then spray it at their beak so that they will slightly drink up the water as it gets onto Once their the beak. Once become egg bound, which is very, very rare in the first place, she will not be egg bound again, just like it is with chicken pox. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Adelaide, duck, duck, duck. Adelaide has actually got a, been eating an egg and she's got an egg stuck to her butt. Um, yeah, she's a funny thing, isn't she?